What's up guys, this is AA Hobbies, I'm Corey, and welcome to today's video. As you could probably tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, it's all about the vertical stand for the UCS Millennium Falcon. I recently built this set, I've been waiting anxiously for this stand to show up. I ordered it about three and a half weeks ago uh, with some international shipping. It cost me about $70, uh, including shipping Canadian, so it wasn't too bad of a price. Apparently it's supposed to be all Lego, or mostly Technic anyway. Whether it's authentic Lego or not, yet to be seen. Um, but I am super happy to get it and put it together and get this Millennium Falcon on it and up on my stand over there that I've anxiously been waiting to see what the whole thing looks like uh, as I've been putting it together. I pictured it in my mind. Really excited for the outcome. So if you like today's video, please, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to show your support for the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into this thing. I've just picked it up out of the mailbox and I'm gonna take you right through the entire experience because I really have no idea uh, what I'm getting for this money. So as you can tell, the setup's a little bit different. Because of uh, the way this comes, you don't get physical instructions with it. You get a PDF file uh, that's emailed to you and because of that, I have to look at the instructions on my computer, which is what I'm filming through right now. I also have a secondary camera here pointing down to take you through the unboxing. So let's get into that. And I'll show you a little bit of the instructions in a little bit. So as you can see, it came in a plain black bubble wrap bag, some simple tape on it, all my shipping information and stuff is on the other side. Um, we're just gonna get right into this. I'm gonna be somewhat careful cutting it open because I'm really not sure what I'm gonna find in here. Got these nice pink handled scissors which should do a nice gentle job and what I'm hoping to find what I'm expecting to find is a lot of Technic and I'm hoping to find that it's actually Lego Technic uh, I believe there's just over 400 pieces in this stand set whatever you want to call it I got is a huge bag of blue long pins some of the double ups. We have a nice little bag of some T's and L's in different sizes. All Technic, we got some square bits in there. We got some joints, some red push-in lockers or whatever you want to call them. I don't know all the technical terms. And a lot more Technic bits in there. I don't believe that they are real Lego because I don't see any logos on anything anywhere. We got some black Technic pins. And we got a big bag of Technic pieces here. So I'm going to get into this, see if I can find any branding or anything on these pieces. I don't believe that. I don't think they're actually Lego. I think they're fake, or not fake, but not authentic. Because I don't see any branding on them anywhere. Which is not a huge deal for me. It's just a stand. It's something to hold the Falcon up. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. But there's definitely no Lego logos on anything, and you know that Lego would definitely put their logo on it somewhere. Alright, so I'm going to get right into this, start building. I'm going to attach a speed build portion to this video because I thought it would be really neat to see the actual build process of the stand come together. And then we'll actually mount the Falcon onto the stand. Hopefully that goes well, and we don't have any catastrophic failures with that. And then we'll actually put it into place, so I'm super excited for this. Enjoy the speed build, guys. If it's not your thing, I'll throw a timestamp on when the speed build is over so you can skip forward and we'll see you after it's built. So just to show you guys a little bit of the instructions uh, right as we get into the build here, they are in a digital form and there's not many steps to them. I'll just browse through them fairly quickly here. Um, it shows all the parts, counts and stuff at the bottom 
and basically the finished product here at the top what you can expect so fairly excited to get this thing put together enjoy the speed build you guys all right so i've knolled out the bits here so like i said i think it's just over 400 pieces somewhere in between 400 and 450 pieces if i remember correctly but a lot of those pieces are going to be in these pins like, there's a lot of pins there and it's basically just different sizes of Technic rods and those little one by twos are really the only actual Lego you get with it and that's it that's it for parts you guys so let's get to putting this thing together
right, there's the two sides of the stand. You see they're exact replicas of each other. The second one went a lot better after having some experience on the first one. Managed to get the second one done in about 28 minutes real time. I know that from the recording of the video. So what I'll probably end up doing, which you guys probably already picked up on, is just showing one of the builds and then throwing this in there telling you that we had to build two of the exact same ones. And now we'll carry on with the rest of the absolutely terrible instructions. There it is, completed stand. Got a couple little extra pins over there, but nothing too serious. Used every single part they gave me, wasn't short any. Came together fairly smoothly after I got going. It was a little bit hard to uh, distinguish exactly where they wanted me to put each piece. And it was fairly easy to mess up kind of which holes because they're just uh, 2D pictures and they don't highlight where the new pieces are going. But this is what the finished product looks like. I'm fairly excited to uh, put the Falcon on it over there. So I think we're gonna mount this thing and I'll show you how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a catastrophic failure. It's pretty sturdy, I think. But we're gonna find out if it's strong enough to hold the UCS Millennium Falcon. Uh oh. How are you supposed to get it on there?
That's nerve wracking. You must take off some of the landing gear here in order this for the stand to fit. I tell ya. Uh oh. This is a little nerve wracking. Time to get the stand. <coughs> So we have these four locking pins here. Um, we're going to find where they engage here. One. Oh. Two. That's not good. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> the other way. One. <sighs> try down here. Yes. Oh, there. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna bring it to the table. Woo. All right, so we got a few casualties here. One, two, three, four bits set. I gotta find their homes and we gotta get all the panels back on, but it's on there for the most part. Landing gear over there. That was the most stressful thing I've had to do with Lego so far, I can tell you. That had me sweating it uh, a couple moments there. Let's get the panels back on this thing. All right, so I got the table back over here. We have the Falcon all put back together. Well, mostly put back together. I still got those two pieces there that I haven't been able to find a home. I believe that little round one is supposed to go in the cockpit area right in there, but having trouble getting it back in place because I really don't know how it goes in there. So let's swing this thing around and I'll show you guys exactly how and where it connected onto it. It was quite the process as you could see, but man, does it ever look good. Let's spin it around. All right, and here we go. Look at the back of it here. So as you can see, we had to take off, I think you only have to take off three pieces, but I took off all four. Well, maybe you have to take off all four. I don't know. I took off four pieces of the landing gear and you can see these red push pins that join into this little black Technic piece that's right here and over here it joins into one of these L Technic pins and then we have it down here at the bottom right in there it goes up into a Technic pin and then over here we're gonna have one on this side and one on that side 
for some reason this one has two probably just because the thing offered two pins and that's all it's held in there by and it's fairly solid and a little easier to move around now and I have to say I'm fairly impressed with it um, I know they're a fairly popular stand they're out there they've been out there for quite a while but this is my first impressions on it and I am really really happy with it I think it looks great I'll uh, set the camera up and show you guys exactly how sturdy this thing is and then we'll throw it on the shelf. Okay, so just to show you guys a little bit about how strong this thing is or how sturdy this thing is when it's on the stand, you can literally just spin it around and not worry about it toppling over or falling over. As you can see, you can give it a shake. It's not going anywhere. This is the first time I'm trying all this stuff. So if something happens, you're gonna get a completely natural reaction here. But um, yeah, it seems like it's not gonna go anywhere, which I'm very, very happy with. It's not gonna really move much anyway, but I am gonna have to take it off and clean it uh, as it's not gonna be in a glass case. I did put the episode nine radar dish on there. I thought I'd change it up a little bit. So I got all my mini figs and the plates. I'll be putting these pieces back in the original box. Hopefully I'll be able to find where these pieces go. Maybe have to go through the manual to see that. So just before we put this thing into its permanent home, I just want to take a minute to thank every single one of my subscribers. If you're not yet subscribed, please, please hit the subscribe button. It helps tremendously. If you like today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Leave your comments down below what you thought, how it went, what you think of the uh, UCS stand and my setup. I think I'm going to do a Lego room tour uh, video here coming up. So let me know whether that's something you guys want to see. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.